This is an applied problem about the dimensions of a tennis court. The perimeter of a standard tennis court used for playing doubles is 288 feet. The width of the court is 42 feet less than the length. Find the length and the width. Well, we're dealing with a rectangle here, and we want first to familiarize ourselves with the problem. And let's begin by assigning some variable names to the length and width of the rectangle or of the court. We'll let L equal the length and W equal the width in feet. And now we'll use the information that we're given to translate to a system of equations. We are told, first of all, that the width of the court is 42 feet less than the length. So we can translate that as W, or width, is equal to the length, or L, minus 42. Now we're also told that the perimeter of the court is 288 feet. And remember the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle with length L and width W is the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So we'll use this formula to translate to a second equation. And we will write that the perimeter, 288, is equal to 2L plus 2W. I'm just substituting 288 for P here. So now we have a system of equations. W equals L minus 42, and let's call that equation 1. And 288 equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, and let's call that equation 2. And now that we've translated, we want to solve this system of equations. And substitution is a good method to use because we already have one uh, variable expressed in terms of the other. This equation expresses W in terms of L. So what we can do is to substitute L minus 42 for W in equation 2 and then proceed with the solution. And when we do that substitution, this is the equation that we get, 288 equals 2L plus 2 times the quantity L minus 42. So let's go ahead and solve this. 288 equals 2L, and removing the parentheses here, I get 2L minus 84. Now I'm going to add the two L's together. I have 4L minus 84 on the right-hand side. When I um, add 84 to both sides of this equation to get the L term alone, I get 372 is equal to 4L. And then finally, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4, and I get 93 equals L. Now I also need to find the width. And remember, our, our first equation said that the width was equal to the length minus 42. So if I substitute 93 for L, I can find W by subtracting 42, and I get that W is equal to 51. So this tells us that our possible solution is that the width is 51 feet and the length is 93 feet. And let's check that in the original problem. We were told that the width is 42 less than the length, and 51 is 42 less than 93, so that checks. And we were also told that the perimeter is 288 feet. So let's, let's just check that. Um, 2 times our length of 93 plus 2 times the width of 51 is the perimeter of this rectangle. And when I do this computation, I do get 288. So the answer that we found checks. And we're ready to do the fifth step in the process, which is the last step. We'll state the answer. The length is 93 feet, and the width is 51 feet.